What is up, Flock? Finksel here, and welcome back to another Farm XM22 mod spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods to give you guys my thoughts and opinions, and I'll leave them link down in the description down below so you two can go down them if you are interested. Now, this is going to be a really short one. I am not feeling the greatest today, just so you know, but I feel like this is quality over quantity because there is a couple of really, really good mods here um, with the, the options and such. So. There's going to be a lot of customization. I don't know about the, the last two. We'll check them out. But first up, we have, you guys know I love me an OBS Ford. It's the only Ford I love because uh, my dad had one. Unfortunately, though, this is just regular cab. I, unless there's an option to make it. Um, sorry about that. I was <laughs> texting back my wife. All right. Um, but yeah, let's see what we can do here. If this has an option to make this a crew cab, oh yeah, definitely. Customize. Doesn't sound like a, well, I think that the 5.8 liter, I think it's gas engine, 7.5 liter? Yeah, we need the 7.3. You guys know me. Uh, 350, yeah, let's do a 350. Can you go higher? No, okay, I want the 350 4x4. Four four. We also have stock. I kind of want dualies, not even gonna lie. Bumper options. Ooh, yeah. Mirror options, stock, west coast. Let's do west coast. Plow options, I don't want plow options. Cabin light options. Yeah, we'll do some cab lights. Visor options. Yeah, sure, we'll do it. CB, Cobra. Oh, we only have one option. All right. I'm, I'm down with that trim option. Yeah, I want the trim. Cab main color. You know what? I kind of like... I dig I dig the like the work trucks being all white. It's just me. Um, but yeah, we do have the two-tone option if we really wanted it. But I think I'm just going to make it all white. Like a flatbed? That'd be awesome. All right. Yeah. Okay, so we need to buy the... Uh, the beds. I uh, I did not know we needed those. Hold on. So I went and bought a few of the beds. So this is the bed that comes with it right here. This Ford bed. Now it does work with the Ford F Series bed pack from uh, Rental Man. So uh, I bought a. a three of them to just see if it how, how it fits and make sure it fits correctly because I've had other mods that said that they use those beds and they just don't line up correctly so let's check out the service bed first because if the service bed actually worked that would be freaking awesome yep that lines up pretty good uh, let's see what the you could do with the the bed that's included with it because it said single rear wheel I want I'm, I'm gonna guess we can make it a dually it's a nice looking pickup I ain't gonna lie customize all right so oh wait no we want to do this there we go uh, dually fenders yes all right, toolbox, headache rack, headache rack, and toolbox. Yeah, we'll do b both. None. I want the trim. We want the antennas. I don't really care about the decals. We can do fifth wheel, panel, all that jazz. We have no tailgate or tailgate, and then we have the colors, and we can even change the bed color. Ew. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, but that's not what we're here to do today. I guess I should technically to make sure it hooks, but I'm gonna I'm gonna trust that it, it hooks up. We forgot to buy those too. Man, we were not on it today. I've had to stop the video twice. Um I bought that one because of the issues we had in last week's mod spotlight. This works. All right. 
I'm not even. I'm not gonna bother testing the attachments on this because we're gonna use the. We just want to see what this looks like. Yeah, buddy, that's what I'm talking about. All right. I think I found my new work whip. Yeah, I said it. Work whip. So the engine sounds don't change between diesel and gas, which kind of sucks. It does sound good. We don't care about the bed lights because that's a different pack. We do have light lights horn. Not the horn I'm used to on the OBS, but dang, we just took out of that fence. So, the OBS Ford, we'll give it 5 out of 5. It does look really, really good. It has a bunch of options with the um, with the addition of the bed pack. I mean, it's a separate mod, um, but as it is, you have all the options uh, you need with this just this bed. I mean, you can you can have the hitch, the gooseneck, fifth wheel, all that jazz. If you just want a regular cab dually, or even a regular cab um, single rear wheel, uh, but the addition, the, the fact that it works with this bed pack adds a, a whole new world of possibilities. So for that, we'll give it a five out of five, and we'll move on to the next, which is the Chevrolet. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, listen to that turbo spool. Whistle. Whistle, whistle. Um, now, I think this one had a bunch of bit options as well. I guess this one's built into the mod, which I actually would prefer. But we'll see. Engine setup, 6 liter V8. 6.6 Duramax. Cammed. We'll do 6.6 Duramax. Wheel set up stock. Don't like those. I do like those. The 99 2010 rims. Those aren't bad. Let's do these. I like these. Trim, CM, stock. There we go. We got stock bed, Bradford bed, CM. Uh, we'll do stock bed on this one. Side trim, none. I, yeah, I want the side trim. Mirror options, stock mirrors, tow mirrors. We want tow mirrors, bed lights. I wonder if that's for the. Where am I? Okay, yeah, okay. That's probably for the Bradford or the CM bit. So, does not work with that, I'm gonna guess. Uh, none, so we'll leave that off. Uh, tube steps. You know what? Sure. Toolbox option. I guess the toolbox doesn't work. Uh, that's a bummer. You should have like a uh, regular bed toolbox, flatbed toolbox, stuff like that. Um, is there for that? I don't like that though, so no. We'll get rid of it. Bumper. Ooh. That looks pretty wicked. Uh, hitch option cycle till hitch appears. Okay. That works for me. Uh. Oof. I feel like a... This is deep... I don't like that. You know what? I like that. Mirror color. Handle color. Inner grill color. So we can change all this. Uh... Make that chrome, yeah. I like that. Bottom bump. Wow, we we don't have the regular bumper. Okay, it's a nice little farm truck right here. Yee, horn. We have horn. Uh. <laughs> Why do they hate me? Why did they? Oh, they even did the back. Oh. There's no reverse lights. There's no back turn signal. So why? Uh, 
Why make it so that lights up solid, but not that? Make it make sense. Weak horn. Weak, weak, weak horn. That hooks. Where's, okay, I was gonna say, where's our bumper pool? I forgot we we didn't do the PJ trailer this time. We did this one. That works. Does it hit 86? That's my next question. It does. Okay. Alright. I feel like this one will get a 4 out of 5. <sighs> Definitely not i I'm, I'm like in between a 3 and a 4 out of 5. Uh, I'll go ahead and step it up to the 4 out of 5 because it does look really good. You know, the, the hitches work, all that. You do have options between them. But there's a lot missing for me, personally. To make it, to, to put it over the top to do be a 5 out of 5 mod. Um, toolboxes. I don't like the toolboxes that were the options for the flatbeds. And I kind of wish, because they, I mean, they took the time to make the attachers for everything. Make a, a, a regular bed toolbox option so that the the toolbox goes across there probably what the problem is more than likely is that the beds are you can choose the different beds and they're not detachable like these that's why the lights and everything don't work so i almost would rather have them be detachable at this point uh so you could buy the bed separately and slap it on there that way you have working lights um because this did not have working lights uh, it had tail lights but it doesn't have reverse lights like why aren't we moving here okay it does okay it does have brake lights just hard to see because of what it is um, I hate I, you guys know me I hate when it's just a light bulb I want the whole thing lit up because that's how it is in real life, you know, it's just not your light bulb that lights. Uh, well, your light bulb lights up, but the the reflectors around it make it appear bigger. So that's what I want. I want it to look like this, not just a little light bulb lit up. So that that bugs me. Um, that's a personal thing. Um, but I feel like there's, you know, there's just a lot more that can be done with this. But it is a great start. So I'll give it four out of five, and we'll move on to the next. So the next up, we have. A sweeper from Mr. Squiggle. Squig squiggle? Squig Something like that. Anyway, this is supposed to clean stuff up. We're gonna see if it does. We'll see if we have any options first. Customize. Capacity basic, extra, premium, unreal. I guess we'll go unreal. What's the difference? Oh. So basic is 43,000 liters. Extra is 71,000. Premium is 120,000. And Unreal is 250,000. We're going Unreal. So what you see is what you get, but it does have capacity options. Holy light ship. Jesus, Pete. Does it have blinkers? It does have blinkers. It's got the beacons. It does have a hitch. We're going to see if it has a It probably looks ridiculous because of how high this sits up, but we'll try it anyway. 
reverse lights. Oh, it might help if we lined it up. You have brake lights. Actually, it's not terrible. We do have blinkers. Do we have a horn? Nice. Nice. Alright, let's turn this bad boy on. So, this is supposed to clean up anything, I think? Yeah. Oh, I almost want to do this for my straw. Well, let's clean up this. Oh, with ease. Can we clean up more than one thing? We can. It just deletes what's in there. Which, I mean, that's to be expected. Just cleaned up everything. And can we dump it in here? Oh, the animation though. All right, that's pretty sweet. So it's top speed 83. Does it actually hit? 83. Oh, I kind of want to see. You can fill it. You see it fill? Is that how, what I'm seeing right now? We're out of wild limits, so it does hit 83. We're just running out of road. It's just really, really slow. Oof. Well, at least you saved me from getting hit by the train. Appreciate you. Alright. Um. This thing, uh, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. It is, it's pretty neat. Like, I don't, like, I don't think there's any, I wonder if it collects snow. Can we just go down the road and just pick up all the snow and dump it? Ah, oh, I kind of wish I could try that. Man, that would be cool. Just, just to, because you know how you always have that little bit left? So what if you could just take this and especially where the like the, the collisions meet and you always get that little build up oh I, I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try if so oh lifesaver but yeah we have five out of five it is neat if you want to use it to clean stuff up um I don't know I don't really say it's kind of like a fun mod in my opinion I mean it does serve a purpose because you can clean stuff up, up off the ground like you can you know, mow the grass and just have this come behind you and pick it all up and dump it instead of having to pick up something else. But yeah, I like it. It's, it's like a forge wagon that picks up everything. So five out of five. And let's move on to our last mod, which is this here. Is it G dot Grimrock Department? Oh, so this probably goes with that uh the map from not last for this week, but last week I think it was. Does that thing sound that beefy in real life? G dot none. I oh, will do none since we're not in Grimrock. You can put a plow on it. It does have a salt spreader. Dump truck. I feel like we'll try with the spreader and see what it does. Make it not that orange. Eh. Eh. That's better. Design. I don't know about chrome. Is there a stainless? Close enough. Customize. Yes. Alright. Pretty simple. Uh, silo. Or tools. I think it's under tools. Road's up. 
Alright. Damn night thou. That's the wrong bed, that's the wrong bed, that's the wrong bed, that's the wrong bed. I do like that it has a little salt spreader in it too. No, let's just go fill the actual bed. Can I I mean it works like that. That's kinda of jank, but I mean it works. Control Z, I'm dumb. There we go. Hitch work. Horn. Train horns. That's a proper train horn right there. Jeez, Pete. Good blinkers. Blinkers, light lights, we have light lights, brake lights. Does it hit 96? What's the interior look like? Eh. Let's go yet, and we got. What kind of freaking Department of Transportation does Grimrock have that they're carrying around assault rifles? I guess that's for when uh, Karen complains that you hit her mailbox. Just whip that out. So what'd you say, Karen? Oh, nothing. Thank you for plowing my driveway. You're not my driveway. Plowing my street. It's, it's alright in here. It's not like super fancy. That steering wheel logo is totally haggard, but... Oh man, not bad. Can we offload this? The salt that we didn't use? We can. Yeah, the animation is a bit jank with the salt spider, but. I mean, I guess we'll give it a 5 out of 5. Everything does work. It's a little jank, but it's there and it works. So I get, I, I kind of can't complain about it. Um, other than just nitpick, but yeah. yeah, I'll go ahead and give it a 5 out of 5 because it does work. It just doesn't really work legitimately. There you go, that's a good word. But that's going to do it for today's Mod Spotlight, guys. If you guys did like today's Mod Spotlight, do me a huge favor. Leave a like down below. It does help me out so very, very much, and I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Simulator 22 Mod Spotlights, be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do a live upload a video, click that notification bell. As always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.